Hello everyone, I am called Nakavia Juliet. I'm a student at Mara University of Science and Technology. I am in my year one doing a program called Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. I have an assignment about ICT fundamentals, fundamentals of ICT and I have a presentation about this assignment. Question number one says, identify an area of interest in you. So that means an area of interest. The main areas of interest, there are many areas or sectors in ICT. So I uh, have to choose an area of interest. That's what I'll be talking about. And question number two says, Mention at least five ICT solutions in your area of interest. So I have I will have to show how ICT has solved some of the problems in that area of interest I would have chosen. Question number three says for one of the above solution solutions, explain how it has revolutionized the sector. Question number four What pros what prospects are there? for the sector. And question number five, explain the challenges arising from ICT use in your area of interest. So my area of interest is the health sector. The health sector has, has developed a lot through the use of ICT and many problems have been solved. So that it's what I'll be talking about. There are very many sectors, including the security sector, the education sector, the business sector, very many of them that use ICT. But my area of interest, personally, is the IC, is the health sector. So that's, that's what I'll be taking you through. So, question number two, about the ICT solutions in your area of interest. So number one, we have the electric health records, or EHT. These systems, these systems manage patients' records digitally, making it easy for the health personnel to access information about their patients more safely and easily. Imagine, imagine going to a hospital. You are being, you are going to like the previous week but you are already di di diagnosed and you feel like you don't have time to to waste into being diagnosed once again so but if the health records that were kept electronically on computers on tablets on anything that's electronic it help you save time and you will not have to go through that process of going through the diagnosis once again since the records are already stored in the system of the health institution you're being treated at. Uh, the second solution is telemedicine. Telemedicine platforms enable patients or even health workers in rural areas to communicate with each other. Let's say there is someone living in a remote area. Let's say a patient or a health worker. And that person needs to communicate with someone living a place that is very far from where they are at. Instead of moving from that remote area to where that person is, let's say a patient moving from a remote area to an urban area where the health institutions are, that person will not need to do something like that that is would take that time, would be costly means in terms of transport. That patient will not need to do all of that since there is telemedicine. You just need that patient just need to contact the doctor or health worker that is in charge of taking care of them and then they will interact through the through using ICT which makes which saves time and makes treatment easy. The third ICT solution in the sector, we have the health information exchange. 
these systems facilitate the exchange of patient data between different health organizations which reduces time wastage for instance a patient in Uganda is being transferred to India for treatment but then there but then the people like in charge of treating that patient are unable to take them documents the health documents with them to India there will not be any problem with the patient's treatment if there is the health information exchange platform for these two people for these two parties health information the data concerning this patient from Uganda will be will be communicated will be exchanged with the health with the health personnel in India so that the treatment can be begun right away as the patient arrives and then number number four we have the mobile health apps the apps like planet fit fitness my fitness power which help patients to keep in to keep track of their health then there is we have health analytics where health institutions use data and use data analytics to gain insights insights about the number of patients predict disease outbreaks and even do research about outbreaks so question number three says how one of these solutions health solutions has revolutionized the health sector so i've chosen health apps health apps um they provide accessibility to information they enable remote monitoring of health documents they promote fitness and wellness they promote telemedicine where information is exchanged through ict media and they, they enable medica medication management for different people emergency assistance in case someone somebody has a health emergency any any health complication you can that person can use that an app to to get an insight of how they can manage their condition and then they help in co chronic disease management who won't keep track of any illness that runs through their family or anything a chronic illness that has been bothering them for a long time and then the prospects prospects that are there for the whole health sector there is technological advancements there is personalized medicine preventive health global health sustainable health care pharmaceuticals and biotech companies all that all those are prospects for the health sector mainly because of the use of ICT and then we have challenges arising from the use of ICTs in health sector number one there is privacy and security issues we have data inaccuracy have workforce training it's very difficult to train personnel medical personnel to use the ever-changing health ict solutions that are already set up sometimes it's difficult to train personnel implementation challenges technology technical issues in case an ict an ict gadget or anything breaks down is very really difficult to, to to handle it and then the ICT ICTs are costed to implement and then there's the digital device once again I'm Nakabe Juliet a student of Murray University of Science and Technology don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much thank you